thank my coaches and teachers for both nominating me and for advocating for me throughout the selection process. And I want to thank the Hall of Fame Committee for selecting me for this great honor. Thank you. Congratulations to all the honorees tonight. Uh, it's hard work and dedication pays off. Congratulations, you deserve every bit of it. I was very fortunate to play football my junior and senior years with two of the greatest teams in Woodridge High School history. Here are some quick facts I found on BergenPassageFootball.com going back 70 years to 1950. Both my years, 86 and 87, we had fantastic players that we came together, the coaches put us uh, on the field. Anytime we were on the field, it was a brotherhood. There was no fighting, no infighting. Everybody was friends and treated everyone with respect. Uh, so 86 and 87, both teams are tied for fifth place in Woodridge history for most points per season. In 86, our team holds third place for margin of victory. Our 87 team holds fifth place. Our 86 team holds third place for fewest points allowed. Our 87 team holds eighth place for fewest points allowed. Our 87 team has three shutouts. We share that with only four other teams. Three other teams did better. Someone had uh, four shutouts and one actually had five. So we're holding them with three. We're proud of that. Uh, our 86 team had two shutouts. There has never been an undefeated season in Woodridge High School football. Our 1986 team had only one loss and shares that accomplishment with only four teams in 70 years of records. 86, 87. <laughs> Unfortunately, the one loss was delivered by Bergen Tech, and due to a new PowerPoint system, that loss kept us a follow line for the states that year. We did get redemption for that by beating Hazard Heights at their field in front of a huge crowd by a score of 24 to 8. That was the first time we had beat Hazard Heights since 1970. In 1987, we beat them again. This time at home, 23 to 0. Uh, so as George Jett said, a few stats here. I finished my career with, from the yearbook, it said 1,866 yards. It was about 370 carries, uh, five yard average all up the middle. I did have some breakaway runs, but I don't ever recall going out of bounds. Uh, I ran tackle to tackle in the new offense that Coach Majuli introduced to us in 1986. I may be exaggerating a little, but I think Coach Majuli would say, leaning forward, falling forward, every time I carry the ball. I remember these words, and I try to live by them every day. Over those three years, I scored 26 touchdowns. I remember some of them. But I have two favorites, and they were both in games against Hazard Heights. Neither of them was my own. Junior year, Tom Starlow ran the length of the field for a touchdown in that win. <laughs> Senior year, I returned to the field from the hospital on crutches to see Steve Lucini lay out and catch the pass in the end zone in that win. These were two hardworking players that deserved every bit of that glory in those wins. I'm proud of this honor and I want to thank every team that I played with. They made it seem like something anyone could do. But my friend Lolly propped me up. He said, you had the ball because you were physically super strong and hard to take down. If you still feel the need to be humbled, you do suck at golf. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Uh, I owe much of this honor to Coach Levinsky. My first game junior year against Richfield, I fumbled the ball three times. My second game against Emerson. I fumbled the ball two times. Thank God we had the defense we did. I don't know what Coach Levinsky knew, but I'm sure glad he didn't make me a lineman. Coach Levinsky had a huge impact on my life and all of us that played for him. All the coaches did. He had an awesome coaching staff. He didn't tell you to work hard and be dedicated. He showed you hard work and dedication every day. Without asking, Coach Levinsky contacted schools to look at me, and I played four years at Muhlenberg College while earning a business degree. To the coaches in the audience, you never know how you're going to impact a player. There is no formula, there is no guaranteed result. All I can say is do it for the player. If you do it for them and not for yourself, they will get something more from you than just knowledge of the game. My father was dedicated. He recorded every game with a VHS cinder block on his shoulder. <laughs> If you're young, look it up. When you just it looks like an NBC TV. Uh, he told me he tried his best to be humble and not to be lazy. He told me that if something was worth doing, it was worth doing right. I'm sorry he missed this. You'd be proud. He and my mom were at every game. 
They even traveled for all the games in Pennsylvania. I know she is proud. I love you, Mom. <laughs> After I was married, I returned to Woodridge. My beautiful wife, Nicole, and I raised four blue devils. They have given us great joy to watch them play on the same fields that I have. I want to thank all my friends and friends that came here to celebrate this honor with me, and thank you again to the whole family for selecting.